Hey everyone, sorry about that. I disconnected the internet to um, try and get it to work better and uh, I lost everything. So this is a brand new chat. So if you are still here, come on over and and uh, connect with us on this chat. Apologies for the disruption. It's my fault. So yeah, hopefully we can get everyone back on in the next few minutes and uh, I'm really sorry <laughs> that I kicked you all off this uh, this chat. Is a signal better? That was the sacrifice. Hi, Lee. Welcome. I'm sorry <laughs> about that. Just had to um, alter the internet a bit. It's my fault. Mel thought he should um, get me to disconnect the internet and reconnect it. And, uh, I didn't realise it would cut it off. I didn't realise, no. So I'm sorry. We've now learnt that if we cut the signal... If you try and try and change or try the Wi-Fi, and try and yeah, change the Wi-Fi and stuff. Because it turned out I was still on the household one. So um, now we're on big fan small worlds internet, but it it cuts people off and it's just completely eradicated that live. So I'm gonna have to sort that out later. So I'm really sorry about that. These are really nice. So yeah, welcome back. For anyone who's just asked a question while we were crashing and burning with the live chat please ask again because um i've now lost everyone's comments uh because it's it's classing this as a new chat now it's weird isn't it mm. because you tried to because i tried to change the internet press the like please yeah that would be nice to have a few likes i don't get as many likes as mel i just don't think people like me as much <laughs> Mel's the um the one that everyone wants to talk to. Like even when we were at the Van Life Festival, most people came over to Mel and were like, Mel, we want to talk to you. And I was like, hey. oh, some people come and said they wanted to talk to you. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I had a few. Oh, look, it is come up, but is it now saying no, that this it's is gone? a different one? I think this that's what I thought I'd have a look for. Oh no, that is the one that um one person watching. One person watching. No, but it's that I've got three people here. Yeah, so, so that's a different that's one. That's the old one. Maybe they're still sat there waiting for me to come back on that one. I don't know how it how it works. I've messed it up anyway. So, so yeah. I don't know what you've done there. Uh -oh. Anyway, getting back to the CB radio, Mel's investigated it and found out that yes, you can use it um, legally while you're driving. So that's yeah, that's a bonus. So again, you could mount it in my your... word for it, though. Do your own research. I'm not yeah. responsible for you losing your license. No, check. Obviously, check for your own peace of mind. But it looks like it's okay. So we are going to definitely get one. Well, we, we're thinking about getting one. I want one. You want one? Yeah, yeah, I want one. So we want some That's ideas. A big ten four. <laughs> we want some ideas of what Mel's handle should be. Should it be Big Round Small World, or should it be um, Mel the Waffler? I don't know. Something. I think we should have um, some suggestions from subscribers of what what your your handle should be. Have you got any ideas? Handle. Of, yeah, like it's. Hello, everyone. It's Mel. Mel. Really? <laughs> Just Mel. Oh, guy, you're not being going to be a bit more, more creative. Hello, Ben. Big Mel. Hello, you two. How is it going? Hello, Andy. It's going all right. <laughs> it's going all right. We're talking CB radios. Um, the fact that we've been out on the water today on a lake. Supping. Supping. I didn't like it. Mel was very amazing. He held my hand and basically encouraged me to fall off because if i can't fall off of it and get back on then <sighs> it's just not a good idea and i failed miserably and i freaked out quite a bit i must confess because i i really i struggle with water it, i just don't like it um it's one of my big big fears so um mel has been absolutely amazing today haven't you no That's supporting me and holding me I'm like keeping the board sta stable and just trying to get me to Try different like you ways. Fed me. Yeah, and then oh, I stuffed. We went out for a meal afterwards. Like and, the um, biggest burger ever. Yeah, and you really liked it, didn't yeah, you? It was, really it was nice. a very nice meal. Never been to this place before. 
and um, yeah, I can show you what that we had actually. Lush. Let me get some photos up. Do you do this when you go out for a meal? You photograph your food? We do it all the time. <laughs> okay, so this is the epic burger that Mel had with the chips and the salad. And it was a proper, like, yeah, oh, burger, wasn't it? I, I think Monty had a Monty burger, had a bit. Um, so it had brisket on top of the, the beef burger, and then it had a barbecue sauce, like, dressing. There you go. And then chips. And it's all local produce as well and fresh, freshly made. So Monty loved it. was it. really nice. Monty loved it. And then I had a grilled... Ooh, I had a grilled chicken salad with balsamic dressing and feta cheese and all of that. And, oh, my gosh, that was amazing too. So, yeah, lovely, lovely place to go and eat, especially when you know it's kind of fresh. Good food. Good, good <laughs> yeah. afternoon on the water. You had salad. I had salad, but then I and had a, chips. a portion of chips as well. Yes, so you're going to have a salad. <laughs> I'm going to be good and have a salad. Oh, can I start the chips, please? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't not have chips. I'm sorry. Explore Santa Summit. It was co completely S. I'm really sorry. I had to adjust the internet and it wiped the chat out. So I'm afraid this is a brand new chat. Because the internet becomes it's disconnected. So disconnected. It, yeah. So it wiped everything. So I'm really sorry. Everyone's comments and what, you know, comments we've had before and all of my, our chat. It's gone, so this is a brand new one. Really sorry about that. I didn't realise that it actually completely killed the, the chat, and this is a fresh one. I even had to, like, enter in all the gubbins, so I'll have to go back and edit that later. But anyway, it's not it's not your end, it's this end. Where are all of you guys watching from? Are you in your vans? Are you at home? Are you out and about travelling at the moment? Have you been anywhere this week that you'd recommend? How have you been coping in the heat? Like today, we have been so thankful for the aircon. Like we have been sweating away. Haven't we? well, we've had all the. We've got aircon. Well, when we we haven't got the aircon on and we've been outside doing stuff, we've got back in the van, like covered all the windows, and then blasted the aircon on, and it's it's been a lifesaver, especially for Monty, he was getting so overheated. Oh. Kev Jones, evening guys. I've noticed more and more ads <laughs> are on YouTube videos lately. Hmm? Have I got, have yeah, I got ice cream? No, you, you've got it all dribbling. Have I? Don't talk with your mouth full of ice cream. I have it. No, you did have. Oh, I'm You're sorry. I'm professional. <laughs> well, you I'm eating. do this on the BBC, would you? Well, I'm not on the BBC, and this is better than the BBC. Hey, guys, it, yeah? I haven't got a stick at my saying? ass. <laughs> I was saying, I was reading out Kev Jones's comment. He said, evening guys, I've noticed more and more ads are on YouTube videos lately. Have they upped the money that you make from videos? No. Oh, funny enough. No. no very um, strange you should mention this because... Yeah. Things have gone really weird on YouTube at the moment. Last month, I had more, more views on my channel, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but less ad revenue. Mm. Yeah. Which is bizarre. But yeah, we've definitely I actually noticed. made less money last month than I did the previous month, and I had less views on the previous month. I don't know whether it's a YouTube so thing because we have no happening. control over that. No. Um, in that, because it's summer and people are like out and about traveling, doing holidays and whatnot, they are putting more adverts on to try and have the same catchment as they would. It's, it's other to times. do with world economics as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, it's nothing to do with us. We don't kind of so adjust anything. It's so varied. Each month yeah. is, is up and down. So you, you can be guaranteed, you know, a wage when you do your normal job. You have a fixed wage. With YouTube, you can have a really good month, and then the next month Half it's really mind. bad. Yeah. I mean, I've I'm not anywhere near Mel and some of the other channels. One month I can earn seven pounds. I think the most I've ever earned in a month since I've started is twenty five pounds. Um, and that's the same amount of content coming out, but it's seven pounds, twenty-five pounds. I mean, I'm earning big bucks. I tell you, I could start, you know, taking over YouTube mm, in a second. <laughs> but it's not easy. So no, I don't know why the the ads are 
going up more, but we've definitely noticed it as well. I think it's purely because <clears throat> of the doing season. It four years of my four hundred videos, mm. and I still don't earn enough money to live on. Well, you you do because you live in a van, yeah, Jess. Because I live in a van. If you didn't if live I, in a I van, you couldn't live do it any other way. No, no, yeah. no. Because it is so sporadic. <laughs> it's very temperamental on depending on what ads you have put on as well. You can't yeah. choose what ads go on. So Christmas time is always mental. Gaming adverts, I can't stand. Yeah. But the app games. Mm. You don't get paid nothing for those. And also, we don't control what apps, sorry, what videos come out to you guys. It's all preference of what you like. So the analytics and the cookies or whatever analyze yours. So, algorithm. like the algorithm. When I watch Mel's videos back on my phone sometimes, because I like to show him support by giving him another watch with, with my phone, I'll get shampoo adverts, bizarrely, and like deodorant adverts. Whereas when you watch one of my adverts, you get like um, Mercedes yeah, Benz you, cars. and it's, it's, it's the algorithm works out what they can sell you. Yeah, and watches and things like that. So it's, it's very much tailored to the individual. Bizarre. Yeah. You're eating Chinese in bed. <laughs> That's brilliant, Andy. What Chinese are you eating? Why are you in bed? What's her name? <laughs> oi, <What>? oi. <laughs> sorry, I'm really sorry. Oh Mel God. keeps telling me off for eating this ice cream for you guys. I'm so stuffed. I'm sorry. I'm working on a build for the train layout. What, have you got a model railway or do you mean you work on the trains? I've always wanted to have a model railway. My dad's friend used to have an attic. And I kid you not, the whole of it was a huge, like down to scale miniature version of the town that he lived in and he painted the trees he likes made all the grass he painted the people it was absolutely incredible but it wasn't a toy like we were kids we wanted to play with it but we weren't allowed to touch it as you can imagine it was his pride and joy and he spent hours out there it was his proper little man cave there should be a union for social media content creators yeah, that would be interesting, actually. <laughs> don't know how you'd police it, though, or get, well, you know, get no. together, because everyone's so varied in what they think is good and bad and how they want it to create. Work. How would you protest? I don't know. I protest. I don't earn enough money, therefore I'm going to go on strike. And then every spotty kid would be going, oh, excellent, they're not banking any videos, I'll make some. Yeah. It wouldn't work. If you don't make it, somebody else will just come along and make yeah. it, yeah. Kim and it's chow mein. <laughs> Andy, he's he's got Kim and it's chow mein. Oh, lucky Kim. <laughs> lucky Kim. Chow mein is always nice. The thing is, we, we, we bitch on about our little money we earn on YouTube, but we are. Well, we don't bitch. Well, no, yeah. I'm just saying, like, oh, and we, we're grateful for it. I'm, I'm grateful. Mm. Um, it's just, it's hard. The other side of the coin, there are people that make ridiculous amounts of money on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. it's ridiculous. So, so it's, it is possible to, to make a really good living. I on guess it. if somebody like me with 30,000 subscribers was making a living wage, then somebody with 10 million subscribers would be just making a phenomenal amount of what well, they do anyway, but it would be even tenfold the amount of money they make. Yeah, I think it's encouraging because, you know, everyone's on the same playing field. If you put your mind to it and you really yeah. work hard at it, it is endless, the possibilities. There are teenagers that are millionaires because yeah. they make videos for YouTube. Yeah. So my way of thinking is if a teenager can become a millionaire making videos, then you surely can. I can scrape a living making videos about how to do this and how to do that. Or yeah, and sharing life experiences. <laughs> yeah. 
but yeah, if you ever have thought about doing it, just do it. Yeah. Don't get caught up. I, I mean, get asked all the time advice on how to make YouTube videos. Yeah, I mean, there's there's no, no there's no answer. It's just you've got to try it and give it a go. I mean, we we do things all the time, and we we look at the analytics after making a really good video in what we thought was good, and it's just nose diving. You guys enjoy it, but in terms of the way that YouTube see it, it's like, nah, yeah. And nah. then you make a video like in 10 minutes and it goes really well. Yeah. Don't so put it, no effort into it. It just goes to show that you just And then another can't. video, you spend months planning and it just nose yeah. dives. It's yeah. bizarre. So we've, no, we've just come to the conclusion that you just got to do what you love. Enjoy it. And enjoy, enjoy it. it. And make yeah. videos and put them out there and see what happens. Yeah. And if yeah. you make a little bit, bit of money on the, on the sidelines, then that's a bonus. Um, and, if, I, and the thing for me, people comment and saying that I help them. Yeah, that's that, really that's, lovely. That's the main reason. I'll do and it. having the community of of people reaching out and like when we went to the Van Life Festival, yeah, it's nice. People to hear, were so like hear grateful. all the stories of people coming up to me mm. saying, "Oh, thank you, you inspired me to build a kitchen cupboard." Because there was this one <laughs> lad. Great. He actually um, replied back to me the other day. Um, Thumbnails you... make a big difference. Yeah, they do. Mm. Explore Santa Summit. Um, this guy here, if you don't know him, I think his name was Ben. He was a really young lad. Do you remember? He came to the Van Life Festival. He watched all your videos and he, he built his own van recently. And the festival was his first event. He oh, came with his mum and dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's Such his van a lovely guy. Almost identical to mine. Yeah. So he's called My Off Grid Project. And that's the van that is his. Yeah. And honestly, he, he had. It all going on, didn't he? Yeah. He's such a lovely guy. There we go. There he is. And um, yeah, yeah, he was just couldn't wait to get into the van life scene, could he? And he was super Sorry, young. Sorry, I've, I've met so many people at that festival. So many people with similar stories saying that yeah, they watched they all started my videos off. and yeah. I kind of lost track of a lot of them. Well, we met him right but at ben, the end. Yeah, Ben was a lovely young lad. Yeah. yeah. And he was just over the moon and just wanted to say I'm thank just you. Give him a shout out. Yeah, well, we, there we go. Ben from my off grid project will we'll, like we'll give you a shout out over on Mel's channel. Just send me that stuff. Yeah, but a really lovely guy, and um, yeah, if anyone comes across him while they're traveling, yeah, that's that's what it's all about is giving each other some community and some support, and not feeling alone when you're on a project like this because loads of people that we met at that festival have just started living in a van and the main thing that they wanted to do when they were there was make friends and we we made loads of friends didn't we and we've got a, like a group chat going on with a few of them now and it's all about even when you're traveling you can stay in connection which is the other reason why we think the cb radio is a good idea because not everyone has each other's numbers you don't necessarily want people to have your personal number i mean we're certainly very careful who we you know give our numbers to you're we, always we giving your number out to young men <laughs> well that's because i'm friendly such a flirt. every time i look around i am like take my eyes off for five minutes she's giving a number to someone Anyway, the point is, is that the CB radio would be an extra element for communicating and you're, you're not having to give away so much personal information. Who I choose to give my phone number away to is my freedom. <laughs> Kim and Chalmaine yeah. think we all need Kim in our lives, laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah. I'll do, I'll need Kim. My name's Mel. When... Who remembers the 80s rock band Mel and Kim? No. Never heard of them, have you? No. no, yeah, there was. There was a band called Men and Kim. Oh, right. Two women, though. Two sisters. Okay. That's interesting. What was it? One Santa YouTuber Summit? earns 7K a week. Explore Santa Summit. Yeah, I yeah. believe you. I absolutely believe mm. you, mate. I think if you yeah. if you get the right thing that people want to watch and you just get a certain amount of viewers and watchers, it then does just propel you. I think the algorithm and YouTube, it's really hard to get through that that yeah, I'll give up curtain. I understand it now. Yeah. I mean, we do things, we look at the analytics, it fails, we try something else, we think it's going to work, it fails. So we've kind of given up and we're just going to enjoy making content. Even if because... I make a really good thumbnail, I'll do a really good thumbnail, I think that's cracking, that is. Yeah, it's that's still... a cracking thumbnail. It doesn't meet expectations. Video. People watch it all the way through. Yeah. It gets 
I don't know how many thousands of thumbs ups. Yeah. And yet YouTube still don't promote the video. Yeah, and yet we've seen it's still people only start... my subscribers that watch it. Yeah, there's no new um, viewers, yeah. and that's the essential. That's the kicking thing of the, nuts, really, yeah, because, because you can't grow if you YouTube have no don't, people. YouTube don't promote any of my videos. Yeah, and we don't understand why. <laughs> what the hell? But you, yeah, you can't, you can't try it. So what I'm trying it's to say basically is basically that's why my thumbnails, thumbnails are a bit crap lately because you're I've, a bit despondent. Yeah, I've just. Yeah, it's all right. It's all good. Yeah, we'll kick out of it. But we have been feeling quite low about YouTube over the last few days yeah, I'm because break, it's um, it's hard to stay not competitive, but you have to be noticed amongst all it the is other competitive channels because you're competing for views. Yeah, your competition. So with people, other people are always on about you know clickbaity pictures, but the thing is unless you do grab someone's attention in the few seconds that they're yeah, scrolling they'll through you'll video. you'll lose them and unfortunately we've had to learn that that is the game you have yeah. to play I've and we don't we don't like doing it but you have to kind of have this balance of good content oh, and the clicky thumbnail. I like coming up with good ideas for pictures yeah they? that, they that are for fun. me is the fun bit making I mean, the thumbnail we were absolutely wetting ourselves laughing when we were doing the thumbnail for your waffle on a Wednesday. Like, take a look at this. We were literally, uh, maybe we should do this. It's just like extra, extra content. But we're literally just <sighs> messing yeah, around. When we, because <laughs> it's difficult to take a photograph. So what I do now, as you can see, Rebecca is showing you. We just film. I film it. I set the camera up and I just film. And then we do different poses, you know. And then we do a screenshot because and, it's and hard. And then I watch that video back. We're just being And idiots. then I screenshot it and that's the thumbnail. Yeah, there you go. And then we we stop and then we, <laughs> we turn the camera off. So, I mean, if this is kind of thing is interesting to you, we can always do like a behind the scenes video of what we do to make YouTube stuff. But we basically make idiots of ourselves most of the time. I think you got 7 million views in one video. Who Troll is of the this? Week, YouTube. <laughs> yeah, troll of the Week, YouTube. YouTube is the troll. A good point. That is yeah. really, really true. That's, that's yeah, a good idea. That's really good. Country Van Life clever. TV was saying YouTube has gone a bit strange for his channel lately. Yeah, yeah. so many channels have gone like... Clickbait, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it is hard. Because we want to make good videos for you guys. We want to enjoy what we're doing. We don't want to be perpetually mm. chasing this algorithm because, like Mel was saying, sometimes we spend ages making something and thinking it's really fun, really entertaining for you guys, and yet we put it on YouTube. You guys like it, obviously. Yeah, but when subscribers you look, watch it, yeah. and all the comments I get are all good. I, yeah, but then I you look at the analytics. to get a troll of the week sometimes. Yeah. Because people genuinely like the stuff I do, and I'm yeah. grateful that you guys do like the stuff I do. But you look at it in and the kind of corporate way of YouTube, but and it's miserably failing. Yeah, YouTube still don't promote it. Yeah. Even though people enjoy my stuff, they watch my stuff. We have fun doing it. YouTube still won't promote it, and I yeah. have no idea why. And that's what we struggle with, is trying to keep up with that. Is it the high thumbs expectation? up Because most of if everyone goes on about, oh, give this video a thumbs up. I hate doing that. That's why yeah, I say we, it at we the don't end. Like, we don't like I always asking. leave that to the end. Don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe I should do that halfway through. I don't know. I mean, do you do you mind it? I mean, it depends. Or the little logo that comes along the bottom of the Saying screen. subscribe you, or whatever. Give thumbs up. Yeah. Some people, like I watch a lot of channels that don't ask at all. They don't say anything. Mm. And Well, I don't until the end, usually. Yeah, but some people don't say anything. They just do their thing and then they finish. Mm. Maybe I should say anything. I actually I like that sometimes because you don't need no, like everyone knows you. So don't give this. Don't forget to give this video <laughs> a thumbs up <laughs> or thumbs down. But you know what I mean. Like people who are on YouTube generally, the the main populace, they know how YouTube works by now. You know, so you shouldn't have to keep telling people to like and subscribe. It's like if they like you, they'll do it it's anyway. Called, it's called. Call to action. Call to action, yeah, but is you're everyone calling, that You're thick? calling your calling your audience to, to make action. action. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes I think it's a bit like telling grandma to suck eggs, but you know, yeah. I don't know. What do you guys it think? Is. But we'll continue to make content for you, but we're just going to try not to let it get to our 
our inner selves because like I was saying earlier, I've been really down the last few days thinking what happens, what's the point and what happens if it's not working. Oh yeah, when I asked everyone to give a thumbs up, made no difference. Yeah, no, it didn't, did it? The thumbs up or down it. takes part. Maybe next week. Next morphle on a Wednesday, I'm gonna tell everyone to give this video a thumbs down. What and then see if the video bombs. Yeah. Just no, see if, if if it promote gets promoted or not. All right, well there you go then. Everyone who's watching today, twenty of you, twenty one of you, let's I'm all gonna do make a, a big video. thumbs down. I think next week's Waffle on a Wednesday is going to be the worst video I could possibly make. Are you and I will tell pajamas? everyone, I will tell everyone at the beginning of the video, give this video a thumbs down, but <laughs> watch it to the end. Yeah. Thank you, Lee. Keep your chin up, guys. That's really sweet. Some yeah, explore have... Santa Summit. Yeah, some channels have subscribe and thumbs up all the way through, and it puts me off. I'm exactly yeah. the same. I totally agree. It really pees me off when it's like that because it's like begging all the time. I just want to sit and watch the content and enjoy that five minute, ten minute, half an hour video without constantly being reminded that I'm actually being spoon fed a channel. You know, I like the content on its own. That's why I don't want to keep about doing. doing a Patreon. I have. I did set up a Patreon account. Yeah, and I've got one, and it's but, it's, um, not, it's not yeah, doing it's very not. well. <laughs> Becky's got a Patreon account. You yeah. should really check it out because yeah. Well, no, because I've just literally I've, I've been thinking about. I'm going to close it at the end of this oh, month. Don't do that. I like them pictures you post. I know, but it's she just... posts cheeky pictures on her Patreon. I know, but well worth three quid a month. I <laughs> Yeah, but again, I've it's just been feeling... It's a bit like OnlyFans, but Patreon... Oh, it's not It's not that that far. <laughs> it was just... Well, if you get enough, it, it could be. <laughs> it was just a try. And again, it's like, why, why am I bothering to do this when it's just not taking off, you know? So I, I'm very much of the thing that if, if it, something doesn't work, I kind of ax it quite quick and... Um, especially because the last two years I've been struggling with my own personal business. So I thought I'm going to try and put it all into YouTube. And when that's not working either, you know, you kind of, you get really down and you think, well, what, what the hell am I doing with my life? You know, I don't seem to be successful at making anything meet, you know, you've got, everyone's got bills to pay. And when you're struggling to pay them, and that, I mean, that's not even much to pay. I have a phone bill, car insurance and, um, food that's it and I, I'm struggling to pay that every month at the moment so there we go <laughs> this message is held for review because <laughs> you're talking about your trains oh hold on um Lee yeah. from Anfield my channel is a model train layout and do lots of builds for the layout enough. why has YouTube held it for review I don't know and don't, live build yeah, on my channel on. I want to I'll show that, show that yeah, yeah. So you've got a, a model train. There you go. See, this this is where Layout. things are really weird. Yeah, like that's been held for review and you're not even talking about anything. Enfield Road Layout in the loft just put a comment about his model trains and his YouTube channel and it was held for review. Yeah, saying it was blocked. It's bizarre. Yeah. I feel it's better if you do thumbs up halfway through your video. As I get engrossed, don't forget, forget to put a thumbs up. But some people remind you, then I do it. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's good to have a, an idea of that. That's good. Because we don't want to just, you know, constantly be peeing people off. I can't read the name. Krista Davidson. Good, good point. Thank you, Krista. And Kev Jones agrees as well. I agree, Krista. Hello, you two. Sorry, I misspelled it before. That's all right. Don't worry about it. But, yeah, I mean. Interesting. Halfway through. So I should do yeah. like, now it's Troll of the Week. And don't, don't forget to give us a thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> <laughs> or if you don't like Troll of the Week, give it a thumbs down. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> right, next, don't next know. waffle, we'll try that. We'll try it, yeah. And we'll give Christina Davidson a shout out. To, yeah. A bit of suggestion. There you go. So yeah. make sure you watch me Troll of the Week next week, if we've got one. If we've got one, yeah, we'll yeah, find one. Because sometimes you think we'll make one up. Yeah, I mean, generally, like you say, we, we, we love making content for you guys and the vibe we get from, you know, helping people. And I mean, you, your videos, I mean, that's how I met Mel was through his bed video. And, um, oh, I've got a comment, some bizarrely. I think it's probably that one that's just been held for big review. Big picnic. When's the big picnic? When is that? Is that Van Life Eats? 
No, I think that's a separate one. Van life eats is when we're away in Kent. Because um, unfortunately, I'm, Phil was on about that one just now, saying, "Are we going to van life eats?" And I was like, "No, we're not." Troll of the week is the best. Yeah, <laughs> you like troll of the week. Oh, I'm glad. The problem is, the more I do it, the less trolling comments. I yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's getting, actually it's actually it's, made the trolls run hard, away. It's getting hard to sustain because yeah. Oh well, we'll, we'll work it out. Oh, people, Kevin S. and who is it? Anthony Ellis, they're busy commenting on the old chat. Oh. Tell them to come over here. The, the chat is still going on. It's just a different chat. So, guys, well, get, get inviting your on, friends. I'll, I'll go on there and I'll put a message on there. Let's see if I can go on to it. Funny. Oh, 26th of August. Yeah, no, we're away. We're yeah, away it must then. Be, it must be the big picnic. I think that's what he's calling it. Van Life Eats, the big picnic. Oh, uh, Is it run the... by... Van Life by him, eats. yeah. Ah, okay. Mark's running. Oh, there. his cooking. I was watching. We some actually of his... met Mark at the Van Life Festival, and he cooked me pizza. Yeah, well, he about was really two o'clock lovely. in the morning. Yeah, they both literally, him and Julian, were staggering around like having far too much yeah, fun. Yeah, we bumped into him and like, oh, and, you and... got a pizza oven. Both pissed out of our heads. And he's like, yeah, <laughs> and then like, he make us pizza. a pizza. <laughs> this is like yeah. two o'clock in the morning. And bless him, he did. Yeah, he he's very pizza. courtous and he's a really great guy. So if you don't know who Van Life Eats is, go yeah, and check him out. out. Um, he does amazing food porn on um, Instagram and uh, TikTok. I'll uh, I'll show you his <clears throat> his um, page. I think it's I'm more on TikTok. Troll of the month. That's a good idea. Troll, Troll of the of month. The month yeah. Maybe I should do Waffle on Wednesday once a month rather than yeah. every week. Yeah, because you were thinking about reducing yeah. it down anyway, weren't you? Because everyone loves Waffle on a Wednesday, but, but Mel also finds it really tire me. tiring because he has to go through so much comments and a lot of people leave kind of just snidey comments sometimes. No, they don't know. That's the thing. What's that with the pizza? I think me and Greg Virgo was your first Troll of the Week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Greg said that as well about being troll of the week. He said to me when I met him at the van life, he said, I can't believe you made me troll of the week. Oh, yeah. But that was, I can't remember. But that was, was a about. fun one, wasn't it? It was something funny. Yeah. I like troll of the week. I find it very funny. I keep trying, trying to say something derogatory so I get troll of the week. Who's that? That's by Krista again. That's funny. Krista Davidson. And she says, autospeller driving me crazy. I love Trolls of the Week. Yeah, Mel often has a problem with his autospeller. He keeps having um, prompts come up and they, they're not oh, what you want to one? say at all. Something about SEX. SEXY, Sexy. isn't it? Yeah. It's like, that's really good something. He's like trying to tell me to put the kettle on or something and it comes out as SEXY. No, when I'm talking to people in the comments section... Oh yeah! It comes up and as an auto, as auto, auto co like correct auto spelling, and oh, he's trying to write and something. I've never else. typed that sentence. Yeah. Anyway, done that. Um, van life off. eats. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. There you go. There's van life eats, and like, look at the amazing. Ooh, look at the amazing food that Mark makes. Oh look, hang on. I started doing barbecue top pizza ovens for thirty five quid. I've got one, but they're great. Ooh. How big is it? Can it fit in a van? Where can we put it? Back and Beck and Mel email I sent you a sticker for what for our van? Oh really? Oh cool. Um which email is it? Is it Mel's email? Because I don't think I've got I have got my email on my channel. I don't get very many emails from people. Usually it's just like junk mail, like trying to sell me something, <sighs> like insurance. <laughs> Krista Davison. Oh, that's better rather than crazy. I've told her. Hi, Michael Shorey. Welcome to the chat. I send you email back. Five inches thick and five, 15 inches With square. Email. That should be big enough, shouldn't it, for pizza? I would have thought. Yeah. <clears throat> Which email was it on? Was it on my um my email that was down in the description box? Of You've got so my... many emails. Well, I have one for my business, one for my personal, and one for YouTube. So that's for three. Boyfriends. <laughs> yeah, but you're not supposed to know about that one. Mm. <laughs> oh, but yeah, 
it would be great to get something pizza oven wise i mean that's the thing with living in a small space i mean that's what this video is titled about is like how to live and live in a small space simple less stuff less stuff and you you tend to learn how to live outside don't you like in the weather like at the moment it's it's absolutely amazing i struggle with being outside more when the weather's not so good yeah, I prefer the winter. yeah you always say that don't you yeah. like you can control the temperature of the van much better in the winter whereas you know in the blazing hot sun i mean we're, we're just we're either outside of the van by the water and just like blocking up all the windows and keeping the van sealed so you don't have that freedom to just hop in and out of the van so much whereas I'm when we were chilled. yeah when we were in cornwall <laughs> a few weeks back or a month ago it was still cool enough so that you could have everything open and you could just yeah in, embrace the world around you and you didn't have to be inside or outside it was just like a nice combination wasn't it whereas at the moment it's just quick get in the van and get it cold with the air con or quick shut the van up and let's go isn't it You bought 40 frozen sourdough pizza bases for the oven for about 30p. What? Oh, sorry. Um, it's Anthony, right, isn't it? Explore Santa Summit. I'm sorry you've got to go. Um, thank you for joining us. I'm really sorry again about A, turning up late and B, cutting everybody off because of the signal. So see you next week. Have a great weekend and a week ahead. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll get started on that. Maybe we should have a little paddle. That we just kind of bring up. Oh, yeah, yeah, like Ken Yeah. Do you, you, do you know who Ken is? I know who that is, yeah. For your time with the hands. Yeah, maybe we should have a little paddleboard that comes in going, give us a Oh, some foam hands. Like, yeah, maybe we should do that. I don't know. Like they have one, what's that, the gladiators thing? Yeah, it's like the, the, the hands, the, the, the finger. Foam hands. No, it's a finger. Isn't oh, is it? it a finger? The old gladiators, like from the 90s, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I used to love that show. Anybody oh, else love that show? Thumbs up. Yeah. Thing. Wolf be, was my favourite. Do you remember Wolf? Funny. Yeah, Wolf. He was a personal trainer, wasn't he? Oh, Wolf and Lightning. They was, those two were my favourite. Lightning used to be able to put her leg over her head. She was super, super girl. sexy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she had really like bouffant curly black hair as well. I just thought she was the best. Oh. And John Anderson was the referee, do you remember? Jake Dave Moore says, How are you guys doing MOT? Just passed on van. Yay, well done. Here we go again. Oh, Toasty's van build. Yeah, she was well gorgeous, wasn't she? Lightning. Yeah, see. <laughs> And Wolf always used to, like, make a fuss, didn't he? He'd always used to go up to the referee and be, like, chest pump him and, like, be in his face and be like, oh, have a problem with everything. But he's a really sweet guy in real life, apparently. You will go on my first whistle. Yeah, that's it. Contestants, you are going my first whistle. Gladiators, you will go on my second whistle or something like that. Sorry, my van is really... my. Um, Accent is really terrible. Yeah. Oh, BJC, yes, I have got a new van, hopefully. I literally text the uh, lady the day before yesterday. She's on leave at the moment, so she can't tell me anything else. But I basically got into contact two days ago asking where the van is, what the status is, and is the date still happening. So as far as I know, yeah, the van's still, still coming. But as far, as far as... Is it going to be in September? I don't know. I'm just hoping it is because we've got quite a lot of things that we want to accomplish before the end of the year. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, that's better. Yeah? yeah. You keep kicking the table. That's yeah, no, the I'm just going to keep moving. Um, so, yeah, it's not an earthquake. It's just Mel kicking the table. Yes, there is a new van coming. Fingers crossed it actually is okay. And I'm not waiting another six months because I think that would be really annoying. <laughs> but I mustn't complain because I'm very grateful. Hello, you two. Hope you're okay. Yeah, we're good, Roger. How about you? What have you been up to? Your auntie auditioned for gladiators. Really? Wow. What, the original gladiators or the later, like the ones that they did back in the 2000s or something? 
did you settle on a low top or change to high top? Um, I contacted her. She said that I couldn't change anything. So it's a low, it's a low roof. And um, I'm still debating on whether I go pop top or not. I guess I could go pop top. We're talking Quite about nothing. the top or the van. <laughs> pop top. Yeah, we're not we're not talking about the top. We're, we're talking about the van. Getting confused. I could change Sorry. to a high top. I could change to a polo neck, couldn't I? But not quite in this weather. My, his his my mind goes in so many places. I'm trying to have a serious conversation here and you're just talking about different tops. You can tell I grew up on Carry On movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Matron. I'm not sure about whether to go for pop tops because I've been looking at a lot of people's where we've been travelling around. I mean, even today I saw a Ford Transit, exactly the, the van that I'm getting with a pop top and it just looked amazing. But that's on a van on most of the pop tops are on vans that are just weekend camping trip vans, not a full time living van. So I don't know. is it a wise decision to have a pop top when I'm going to be living in it in the winter? Or do I live without a pop top and put one in later if I can't stand bending over too much? And also, do I want... <laughs> What? Why are you laughing about now? Or do I want like loads of stuff on the roof? In which case, a pop top isn't going to happen anyway. If I want a roof rack or a or a what do you call it? A roof box or anything like that. Why are you laughing so much? He's laughing far too much. <laughs> Sorry, it's my filthy mind. Okay, let's get back to the questions here. Trying to go full electric and do without gas. Got solar you and other ideas. Yeah. Yeah, I would go without gas totally. I oh, think. yeah, that's what I'm trying to do now. Yeah. I'm experimenting with um, a new power pack yeah. video out tonight, actually. Yeah, I was um, saying about it earlier. Oh, wow. Well, yeah. Okay. yeah, I would, in my opinion, I didn't want gas in my van to start with. And so I went for a system that would just be electric and I could have done that completely knowing now what I do about the solar system that I had bought from Alpha Batteries I mean John gave me the whole system I could have run an induction hob from that because I had a 3000 watt inverter I had a, an amazing amount of solar and I there was no need for yeah. me to have gas so I, I knowing what I know now I would never have gas in the, in the van is again you can't rely on solar in the winter. That's no. Any problem. So you'd have to have a power pack or something or just run the engine um, if you didn't have gas. So, yeah, that's the compromise. But I still think it's worth it. If you travel daily, gas. if you move around on a daily basis, yeah, then in fine. the winter, you, you because you use your alternator to charge your batteries, yeah, it's, it's you not might get away with it if you've got a big enough battery bank. And... Like just being really reserved. Can you would you really be careful with the table? Sorry. <laughs> she could just like going crazy all the time. It's because it's hot. Fidget. Honestly, Mel fidgets like a little boy. He really does. <sighs> yeah, go full electric, go without gas. Any other ideas? I would um plan, you know, where to hang wet washing or you know, like dirty washing and stuff like that. That's always a, a thing for us is where to put the washing like today we had our wet stuff from being in the lake and we were like oh where 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 can we hang it to like drip dry it or something so have a little area where you can do that kind of thing it's all the like the little the little areas and the little things that get in the way so if you've got a backup plan of like where to hang clothes I mean I'd love to have a hook just by the bed somewhere so that when I take my clothes off every day every night not every day <laughs> i can just hang them up you know and rather than scrunched on the floor or on the, yeah, the side cool. yeah, have, a wardrobe. have a wardrobe yeah oh maybe i could have a wardrobe little, in the next van little wardrobe yeah because yeah i don't have that in in the van at the moment so just the little things like where to put the rubbish bin <sighs> where to put your clothes and where to put dirty or wet things those are the things that kind of just end up being sprawled around so if you can make space or plan out where those little things can go, it just makes living in a van even better because everything has a place. You have it, girl, then flaunt it, sweetie. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, she's I've got definitely it. got it. Yeah. <laughs> 
as Mel keeps telling me. I mean, he's been very encouraging. He's been trying to get me. Flaunts it. Yeah, he's been trying to get me to be more feminine because I, I keep I, telling her to stop wearing t-shirts. Yeah, because I grew up as a tomboy, you know, it's and proper uh, tomboy, isn't it? my dad wanted she is a boy, a tomboy. and so I became the boy. I became the builder. So I've always been around guys and older men, older builders. You know, been on the the building scene for a long time. So I'm just one of the lads. So it's Not it's anymore, me more, trying sweetie. to be. <laughs> it's me trying to be more okay. feminine. Oh, the original. She's 85 now, is she? Wow. The original what? Um, Ivico Davies auntie who auditioned to be a gladiator. She auditioned for the original 90s show and she's 85 oh, now. Right. Wow. Good for her. Well done. The little Van Gogh portable reduction hobby is fantastic. Yeah, I've seen these. These are really good. They're just the little single, single ones. Draws 200 watts, where some hobs use full power and then click off and Van Gogh, portable induction hob. We'll have to look yeah, that up. Yeah, it's in... Um, oh, I shall make a note of that. Yeah, it's in Atwalls. I've shown it you many times. Atwalls? Yeah. Yeah. It's a little square one. It's got like a little little feet, hasn't it? It's like... It's better than mine. Well, it's smaller. I don't know whether it peaks at the same amount of um, watts, though. I don't know. I would love to get a small van. Lots, I said, yeah. yeah, this one. I don't know about our one. The one I've got. It it goes up to a thousand watts. Two thousand. It? it goes 2, up to. But when but you, you turn, can it turn it on, it, it down. turns on at twelve. But I always turn it down to one. Yeah, so that we know that we're not going to blow anything. But honestly, we cook it like eight or six watts, don't we? And it's still just as fast. So yeah. I like the fact that you can adjust the one that we've got. But if, if the Van Gogh one is just on at 200, then that's that's good that's as well. Van Gogh. V-A-N-G-O. Van Gogh. I would like to get a small van, but I need an automatic. But I don't want gas. Yeah, that's all right. You don't have to have gas. You know, I, again, like I was saying just now, I would choose always not to have gas because it's just an extra thing to go wrong. And gas worries me. You know, there's always the potential of leaks. I mean... I've never had a leak with my van. Mel's never had a gas leak with his van. As long as you're careful and you get a professional to either install it or check it for you before you do anything, you'll be fine. And also have a detector and a locker. You, you can do things to make it safe, but if you'd rather not go into it, then you can just work around it. You don't have to use it. You can either have just like one of those little portable gas camping stoves with the canisters or just go, go electric. I think the way that the power packs are going now, you can very easily just have electric, <coughs> like Mel was saying. Lipo 4. Or Lipo 4, yeah. Um, and you just drive. You know, if you're running low on solar in the winter, I've you just have to drive. I've always been against lithium. And people could slate me for it. Yeah, but Lipo 4 is better. Yeah, and that's the thing stable. we forgot to um, talk about in the, the waffle on a Wednesday. Like we were talking about lithium being really unstable. Yeah. But a lot of people commented saying we didn't specify that LiPo4 is actually much more stable. So, yeah, we need to, yeah, we need so to make that. Subject for another video, yeah, we'll talk it? about that in another video to make the difference. Because I never knew there was two different kinds of lithium. Yeah. And um, when Mel was showing me like some video clips of different e-bikes and batteries and like this whole bus caught on fire and i was like oh my god i don't want that in my Can't van put it um but then yeah it's not lipo 4 it's a so. one in 10 million chance that the battery's going to fail but when yeah. they do fail it's catastrophic yeah so yeah i am going to be going for lithium in my new van build but i'm going to go for lipo 4 um because i just i'd really like to try it to be honest I just want a simple setup and enough power so that I know it meets my needs and I don't have to worry about, you know, things going well, boom. There you go, I found it. For my friends at Canuck, they've got them. Oh, okay. Canuck, Canuck. I'll just wait for that to um, load. Also, has anyone got any suggestions for a nice beach umbrella? We really would like to get one. Um, one that like either winds or, you know, slots into place with um, a point and that you can angle um so that for the sun the bingo, double white. Bob. yeah that's the one i've showed you yeah yeah i've shown it you a million times 800 watts aside maximum 1600 yeah but when they're both on yeah mm. interesting yeah 116 pounds all oh, right okay that's cheaper than it was before i think it was 140 when i was looking at it before 
Because they do a single and a double. Yeah. 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 I have shown you it before. Okay. Dave Moore says, I've just installed a 230 volt fridge freezer that uses 80 watt solar average. 180 watt going in on average in summer, winter, no idea, lol. <laughs> I have got a generator for emergency. Try, trying all ideas at the moment. Okay, that's a question from Mel. What's that? Sorry. He's just Back installed in the room. a 230 volt fridge freezer that uses 80 watt solar. 180 watt going in on average in the summer. I've got a generator for an emergency, trying all ideas at the moment. Yeah, good. Yeah, try it out, experiment. Yeah. That's the best, best way to learn. You know me, I like to experiment with stuff. And also, and think, you know, turn the fridge off at night. You know, just yeah, save power. Yeah, you can do. But yeah. That's what I, I like did. to experiment. Yeah. And learn. That's how I learn, by experimenting and taking things apart. Yeah, and that's the best way that I learn as well. Like, um, you know, you find out what works for you yeah. when you live in your van i tried to cover all the bases by doing everything that i thought i should do in a van and then actually once i lived in it i was like oh that doesn't really suit me or oh i really don't like that or that's a pain in the bum because it shines in my eyes you know even like the little display on the battery monitor yeah. i was like next time i won't put it next to my head in the bed area because it's really annoying <laughs> 45 pounds, that's it. 800 watt max, I think. Oh, what, for the Van Gogh little one? That's really good, yeah. 45 pounds. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Krista, you could always check out one of those Van Gogh um, induction hobs that um, Toasty's Van Builder's just been talking about. Excuse me. Oh, I've got to lose weight, look. Yeah, well, I think we just all put weight on in the summer, don't we? Or is it supposed to be in the winter? <laughs> Well, whichever. We, uh, we need to get back on our keto because I feel really good when I'm on it. And then I, I don't just... understand it all, but I would love to do it not full time, but my son are very much against it because I won't be travelling alone. Christine, I'll take it and talk about van life. Living in a van a full cool. time. But I would love to do it not Sorry, full time. I'm kicking the I know. It's really annoying. <laughs> I see you. So sorry, your sons are against it because you won't be alone or because you will be alone traveling. Um, yes, you want to travel. Yeah, okay. I mean, all, all I can say to you, Krista, is if it's a dream of yours, it doesn't matter who tells you you can't do this or you can't do that. If you want to do it enough, go do it. There are so many people that travel alone. And as I was saying at the beginning of the chat, and I think it was in the other one actually that, that cut out, there are so many people that do travel on their own but with with connecting with others and making friends potentially get a cb radio if that's something that you're interested in but make make friends and just keep in contact with other people you know like we've, we've got a group chat that we've set up with loads of people that we've met recently and every day they're like oh hey i'm just parked up here L lovely spot if you guys are around come and meet me or whatever make connections so that you you don't end up feeling alone at all there's such a great community of of people whether they travel full-time whether they're just people that have a weekend camper everyone is so lovely and yeah we've never come across some you know some bad people yet you know everyone is willing to kind of help or you know answer questions or even just you know have a setup that you tell people that you trust where you're going and what you're doing so that if there is a problem they know your itinerary or you know a location of where you are and you'll be fine so yeah I would just say get on and do it because you'll never regret it it might not suit you, but then you can tick it off and go, yeah, tried it, did it, not for me. But likelihood is you'll still love it. You Most go. people love it. Yes, that's it. If Yay. you buy two singles, it's better. Oh, really? Yeah, because it's cheaper as well. Oh, okay. So there you go, Krista. Is it Krista? Yeah, Krista. Check out the um, induction hob. Mel actually did a video all about the induction hob that we've got, didn't you? Yeah. And we've also got an air fryer, which we love. We love it so much. We literally use it all the time. So, yeah, if you want to um, see what that's all about, again, maybe we should make another video just talking about how to cook in a, a camper van with electric stuff. 
I like the fact that all of these little devices aren't fixed permanently because that's what, again, what I'm going to do in my new little van. I'm not going to have anything in the worktop full time. So I just get out the induction hob or I get out the air fryer so that you've got workspace to, to use for multi-purpose things. It's not just, oh, well, that's where I do the washing up. That's where I have to do the cooking so that you can grab it in and out of the van, you know, grab your power pack if you want to cook outside. Love it. That just that's the idea for me is being versatile and that's that's a game changer when you live in a van if you can make things multi-purpose you're you're just that much happier because you can adapt your space to any scenario i think that's that's the key you can wash clean (laughs) cook all right. Yeah. As You're long as it's outside, I don't mind. <laughs> You've got multi-purposes. I've got I'm a multi-purposed person. Thank you. I think women are actually. Isn't that right? Men are only good for one thing. What? That's pain for stuff. Fixing stuff. No pain for stuff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> fixing stuff. As fixing well. stuff. Yep. Yeah. yeah. You obviously know down. that that is completely me. Yeah. Just oh, my my leg. veins sprung a leak this yesterday. I noticed it's got a hole yeah. in the radiator. We got back to the van and we were like, I bought a new radiator that? today. Yeah. So, Mary, Mary, Mary. Bloody van. Your Talk last days that. are numbered. <laughs> no, she's all right. She will be once you fix her. She'll be right. You, yeah. you actually are an amazing eventually, mechanic. Eventually, I'll have a brand new van. You will. The only thing I think you haven't changed on Mary is probably the colour. <laughs> yes, come A new one on me. What's LiPo for? Um, they're a different type of lithium battery, aren't they? Like yeah. before, more stable. They're more stable, and they they are they um, created differently inside. Yeah. Could you divulge a little bit more rather than saying yeah? <laughs> Hang on, let me just do this. I've got the important message to respond to. All right. Okay. Hold on. That's right. Carry on talking. I'll, I'll. We'll get back to you. He's busy doing something. I don't know what he's doing. He's messaging somebody. I messaged Mel on Instagram the link. It's better to have two singles than a double. Then you can use your power bank and your house better. Yeah, that's great. I love it. Mel gets so many messages. He doesn't always manage to reply and comment to everybody because, like, it's it's a hundredfold. There's emails, there's comments, there's Instagram, and now there's TikTok as well. He just gets inundated with stuff. So he has to choose very carefully the times that he goes on and checks messages. I mean, believe it or not, I find it quite um, quite a lot to kind of keep up with stuff as well. So I choose or we choose to do specific times where we go on our social medias and different things to reply to people and we don't manage to get to everyone. So it's not personal. It's just, what vodka am I drinking? <laughs> believe it or not, it's water, but I don't actually need alcohol to have a good time. I just talk rubbish most of the time. You will be alone, yeah. Don't worry about being alone, honestly, Krista. Um, like, like I said before, just have a plan. Maybe let a few select people that you trust know where you're going or what, what you're planning. And just make friends. And uh, you, you will find your soul tribe. I mean, like I was saying, we've met some amazing, amazing people who are doing exactly the same thing as us. You really bond with people over um, the love of vans as well. And uh, yeah, if you don't vibe with certain people, you don't have to hang around. You can, you know, get in the van and drive away and find find a new spot to be. Um, just listen to your intuition, listen to your gut, and I'm thinking about doing a specific video for women um, who are traveling on their own or you know want to know the ins and outs of, of van life and um, like a checklist really for for things of what to look out for and how to how to go it alone and just ask other single women as well. I mean, I'm not obviously single because I'm here with Mel, but they're the same things that have gone through my head when I was building my van and that was before I met him and I was planning on doing it on my own. So if you're interested in doing that and um, interested in a video, then I will, um, I will make something together because I've been talking about it and thinking about it for ages and I want to do a self-defense video as well. So that will be coming. Uh, Refresh the mesh says hello, Mel. You are only single on weekends. <laughs> are you single on the weekend? I'm always single. 
hear that, everybody? No, I'm never single. If he says that, then I'm single on the week. <laughs> okay, Dave Moore says, we are using a standard 240 volt fridge freezer that uses 80 volt on and off. We are using EcoFlow and Jackery cooking with induction hob. Hot water is gas. It seems to be working up to now. Oh, great. Oh, that's really good. How are you getting on with the EcoFlow? Is it on par with Jackery? I mean, we like the look of the EcoFlow ones just because they're a bit more like swish looking. I still don't like the handle though. I mean, why do all these power packs have big chunky handles? Yeah, it's great for like grabbing, but they need to really up the ante, all of these companies for a power pack to live in a van. So you want it square so it can fit in a cupboard or, you know, be installed underneath a unit and you can put stuff on it, right? Not not a silly handle. Yes, exactly what I would like. Yeah, I've seen a couple of vans, but they are too far away to go and look at them. As my sons are very busy working, I would have no idea if I was buying a crap van. Okay. Uh, do you have any local garages that you could um, rely on to actually find you a van? I mean, I went to my local garage that I've been to for years and... Um, he he would look out vans for me and um i'd kind of give him a criteria of, of what i wanted and yeah he he found quite a few for me in the end and um it was just out of sheer um bidding that i got outbid on all, all of the vans that he found for me and in the end i found one myself just on ebay and yeah if you're not if you're not sure um about a vehicle then um yeah have a, a friend or family member check it over I mean, the the best thing to do is to, again, listen to your gut. Has it got loads of rust on it? Does it sound okay? Do the people give you EBGBs? You know? Right, what, so lithium, what advice would you? Lithium, oh, sorry, go on. I was going to say, what advice would you say to, to Chris, Krista, well, who, she, well, who wants to buy a vehicle but doesn't know whether she'll buy a, a crap van or not? Get it checked out by a mechanic before you buy it. Simple as that. Okay, so you could get like an RAC mechanic or an AA? No, not RAC or AA, they're rubbish. Okay, well, who? A then? proper mechanic. What, what do you class as a proper mechanic? Oh, not my proper mechanic. How would you find one? Well, it's got a local garage. And okay. for a mechanic. Could there you go then. Just so, ask around and you'll find one. Yeah, eventually. and maybe get them to, to check over a vehicle mm. with you. Or, um, get it checked out by someone that knows yeah a good vehicle and someone that you trust as well I mean there are again there are loads of people out there that want to help I mean maybe join a couple of van life um, like groups on Facebook and different things or yeah meet meet people get out there and just start connecting with people in the van life scene and there are some yeah like I said great people and there were many mechanics that we met at the van life festival and yeah, you just literally be like, oh, hey, I'm looking at trying to find a van. Could you help me? People will be wanting to help you and it'll, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. I only go to Kia Garage. They're, they're very expensive. Yeah, but again, you might find a, a, a good mechanic there. I don't know. You I mean, just, I'm not saying the RAC one. and IA are rubbish, but. They kind of find the, every little thing that you don't necessarily need to worry yeah, about. And you pay a fortune. And you pay a fortune. And it's, it's very narrow-minded in in the way that they go about it whereas if you could just have a chat with someone that you can kind of just go Talking look mechanic. someone yeah. that's had years of experience yeah. working on vans or cars yeah and they can tell by what the engine sounds like you know. or actually give um oh what was his name beluga van conversions what was his name darren, darren. get in contact with darren and see if he could source you a van He's a really lovely guy, and he actually does the whole van conversion as well. Like, oh, there's a family that buy all the DPD vans. Yeah. And the DPD vans all serviced. That's it. Again, we met them at this Van Life Festival. So, um, Krista, check out Darren at Beluga Van Conversions. Yeah, he might be able to steer you. He, he in might the be right able direction. to steer you in the direction. He might be able to have like some connections of people that he knows. And yeah, he 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 basically I think he even got that lady her van. Yeah. Didn't he? And then he did the whole conversion for her. So she basically gave him the outline of what she wanted for her van and then he did it. And he uses 
Pardon? I'm trying to think of the he, um, people that told us about them, other people that sell the DPD vans. We'll try and find out for you. I think they sent me a message on Instagram. Um, getting back to Darren, he does all his van builds by using recycled and upcycled materials as well. So he has some um, truly beautiful van builds. I mean, this is one that he did for someone recently. She wanted an Alice in Wonderland theme and this bed area was curved. And she's got these beautiful wicker drawers. And let's see what else she has. There we go. It's, it's so, so lovely. And this is what Darren did for her. Um, and then Darren's van is back here somewhere as well. Actually, go and watch Mel's video that he did when we went to the Van Life Festival because um, Mel talks to him and you see his van as well. But my my uh, recommendation would be get in touch with Darren and see if he can source you a van and maybe even help you with your conversion. Or if you want him to do it all, you could also do that. Um, you, you couldn't um, go to a nicer guy. And he was actually inspired by Mel to even start up this business. So give him a shout. <laughs> Anfield says, good live stream. <laughs> Press the like button. <laughs> yes, we haven't had an infomercial for ages. So let's do that. Toasty's van build. I just thought, where's Whippadeets? He's normally on here. Yes, I don't know. We haven't seen him at all. We'd, you were messaging him earlier, weren't Who? you? Whippadeets. Oh, he sent me loads of messages. Uh, I think he's got out. a bit of problems, so I'm, I'm not quite sure whether it's fa he's family. He's stressing out over his... Or is it the van? His um, tracker. His tracker, yeah. He got a tracker and he's been trying to fit it. And um, we don't know why he's had so many problems with it because it, it, wasn't, it wasn't too bad. The EcoFlow works great, looks great, sorry, and could come in usual for any power cuts. And useful, I think it's supposed to be. I'm trying to find the message. They sent me, we met them at the festival. They were going to send us the details of the people they bought their van off. Oh. Uh. Okay, well, we need to chase them up then. Do you remember who they were? Yeah, they sent me a message, but I'm bugging if I can find it. Oh, okay. Right, well, we'll we'll get back to you, Krista. We will um, get you the link of that, that people, those people. Hi, Julia Jones, just joined the chat. I hope you're both doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. We... Was it Jones and Dawn? Oh, it could have been, yeah. Back what outfit was? Oh, no, that's, that's for the side outs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we want to get some slide outs in our new van. Um, just join the chat. I hope you're both okay in the heat. Yeah, we're, we're doing fine. I mean, it's actually getting a bit shadier now, so it's starting to cool down. But yeah, today we've been by a lake and we've been trying out my set board and I had a bit of a meltdown because I don't like the water, but um, it was all right. We're, we're now in the shade, so we don't mind. As long as it just gets a little, excuse me, a little bit cooler now, we don't mind. Monty is busy snoring away because he's finally cool enough. Don't know about you guys with your dogs, but that's that's my main concern in the heat is that he doesn't get overheated and gets really ill. Krista, I would have loved to have gone to the festival. Um, are you free for the Van Life Eats Festival, which is um, on the 25th um, of this, this month? If you can, go to it. And again, you'll meet the same lot of people, well, similar group of people that we met at the Van Life Festival. Uh, that's that's the way to make connections is to just throw yourself in the environment get talking to loads of people wander around you know poke your head in people's vans and just just come out with the questions that you want to ask you know people will be willing to share their insight with you and uh, it takes the fear out of it you know just get chatting you'll 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 love it you're with the aa okay now well, that's good to know Met Darren last year at one of the meetups. Nice chap. Yeah, he was really, he was really lovely, lovely chap. Oh, Andy's asking about the LiPo 4 batteries. Could you explain? Oh, yeah, LiPo 4 are lithium iron phosphate, whereas LiPo, just regular LiPo batteries, are lithium iron polymer, I think. And lithium iron phosphate is more stable, lasts longer, and um, you can get more charge cycles out of it. 
and they lost. Yeah, they lost three, three, three and a half thousand cycles apparently, mm. and they can last up to 10, 15 years. Whereas regular lithium batteries will only give you five hundred cycles, and they only last five years. Say. Downside of LiPo four is you can't discharge them as much as regular lithium batteries, but it's about ninety five percent you can discharge them. Mm. So it's still better than and, AGM. So it's like so it's not fifty. And each cell is low voltage, from what I can remember. But it's oh, right, not a so great you, deal. So you wouldn't really know. So you need it. more cells. You need a bigger battery pack to get the of same. Of LiPo 4 to get the same. LiPo 4 than you do, but it's not a lot. It's, 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 it's not even worth Well, unless you were a complete nerd, you yeah. probably wouldn't notice. I'm not really that much of a nerd on it. No. But, yeah, generally, they're just more stable. They're lighter. They're, they're better for being in the van. But they are more expensive. But, but then... lithium iron phosphate is more stable than lithium iron polymer. polymer. Yeah. I think it's always, you know... It, Everything's always upgrading and changing. So the more that technology advances, it's going to be more and more stable. And I was surprised actually by the prices of lithium batteries, LiPo 4 batteries. Um, they were quite expensive when they first came out. And now they're still a little bit more expensive, but they're more affordable now than they have been in a long time. Oh, my battery's going. Ah! I think you're lithium. I don't know. I'll have to Google it. I can't remember. I might have got that run the wrong way. But I know that LiPo 4 it batteries... Was a fantastic gun, yeah. LiPo 4 batteries are just... Yeah, they're more stable. They're not as volatile. Mm. Um, and they last longer. Yeah, so, so it's a no better investment But the thing is, it's not the fact they last longer, because lithium batteries last forever anyway. Mm. It's the fact that they are more stable and less prone to catching fire, not yeah. overheating. And that's a massive plus when your head is above them in your van. <laughs> Hi Mel, followed your video on fitting a side window in your van. Unfortunately, I only had a reciprocating saw. Uh, reciprocating, or do you mean oscillating saw? Turned my van into a convertible. <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's Why cool. Not? <laughs> if you look at the amount of views people get doing a video on building your own live before battery, it's huge. You may get more subscribers. You could build one for about three hundred pounds. Oh, okay. Would you want to build a, a I'd battery? I'd love to have a go at doing that. There you go. I think that would be great. That's a great idea. There we go. That's Mel's next Build your own LiPo 4 battery. Yeah. I wouldn't try and attempt it, but you can. <laughs> I'll just get you to make me one. When I was a kid, I tried building my own radio. Oh, did you? Yeah. Hold on yeah. a minute. I'm going to have to go and get my power pack and plug the battery in because you need, my... You need a portable power pack, yeah. love. I've got one in there. <laughs> One or two kicking around. <laughs> While she's gone, let's have a look. <laughs> Refresh the mess. There you go. Build your own LiPo 4 battery. Yeah, I've, I think I've seen some of these videos. Okay. But, um... Hold on, people. Don't die on me yet. There we go. Good old lithium battery. Good old Jackie! Still, I hate this. Stupid. Can you see <laughs> how much it falls down? So you can't put it on the table. Like, look. Oh, let me show you. It's like that. I think they all do that. Silly. Don't like it. <laughs> oh, hello. Is it working? Yeah, if you can put it on the floor, I can use it as a footstool. There you go. There you go. I can put my foot on it. There we go. Don't kick the table instead. That'd be good. Mind you, you can always lay it on its back, you know. Yeah, that's true. You don't have to have it up the right way. No, but I'm anal and I like to be able to see the screen. Oh, Anal. Oh. <laughs> Let's see if that flags up on YouTube. Oh, dear. There you go, you heard it here, folks. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, LiPo4 batteries don't perform as well in very cold weather. Yes, that's true, because um, do you remember when we Chrome took took the van into... Was um, that a LiPo4 yeah. or a regular No, it was LiPo4. Was it? Yeah, he had uh, lithium batteries in his van and he went to a really cold part of Canada. It's yeah, a really interesting right. video. And it, he basically, he he destroyed his batteries. He was stuck yes, in the middle of reset, nowhere. Yeah, didn't you? Take yeah. them apart and reset them Yeah, he had to take them back to the factory. or something inside the factory. Yeah, because he had basically annihilated them. The cold, he didn't do anything. He just parked up for the night and the, it, just everything. He lost the complete power of um of the batteries. So, yeah. Don't get me no wrong. I think they're, they're fantastic, right? But they are really expensive. They are yeah. expensive. When I first built my van, I had two batteries in my van, two old lead acid batteries like that I bought from Breakers Yard for 20 quid each, and they lasted me a good year. You know, you don't need all this flash stuff, really. Got your email, thank you. <laughs> so, so, yeah, I mean, I unless you're going to the... Well, just because we were talking about it in yeah, the waffle, weren't but we? I should, I should really go back to my roots and just go to the breakers yard and buy a couple of old batteries and prove it to people that you can use just any old crappy yeah, battery. Yeah, I mean, there's people seem to think when they do a van build, they look on Instagram, they look at other people's builds and they think that they have to have this certain high level of build. You don't. You know, like you've literally only just upgraded your batteries from breakers yard batteries yeah. haven't you and you were you never mentioned it before because he didn't want to talk about it because he was embarrassed about but it no, I wish but I had. you do not have to have the certain criteria in order for it to be a van build you can use whatever components you want it i mean people if that we works, met it doesn't matter does it, it doesn't as long matter, as it works no. as long as it gives you 12 volts and if you want to upgrade in time you can and um, but you don't have to get swept up and think, oh, my van builds rubbish compared to somebody else's because I haven't got this, I haven't got that. It's your van, it's your build. It's the weight mm. saving. Yeah, look, toast, sorry to interrupt you, dear. Yeah, it's all right, you always do. Yeah, yeah, they are lighter. I'll give you that, yeah. That's probably the one thing that I've cottoned on to. Yeah, because, again, the reason why you've installed this new Bluetti thing is because... It was free. No. <laughs> well, the, it the, free. Weight, I've had to make videos, the, but, hey. the weight of it is the same weight as one mm. of your leisure batteries. I've got four. I've got four leisure batteries in my van. But bear in mind, I do live in it full time. So I need that power, especially in the winter. Yeah. I would still go, if it were me personally, I would still go for LiPo4 or lithium and I would just save if up. If you can afford it. I would save up and get it. That's if, the thing. So if you, you can't get it straight away, just get some AGMs. You'll be perfectly happy with them. You won't even notice a difference. And as and when you can do it, if you want to, you can. Nobody's t saying you have to do a certain thing a certain way. That's what I'm trying to say. You make your van suit what you want. Yeah, refresh the message got a good idea. But I was just about to make a point and say that um, a lot of people choose to live in a van or they choose van life, not because they want to travel perpetually, because they want a cheaper way to live, because they're mm. struggling paying rent. Yeah. And they're fed up with working for the man and just to pay rent and pay council yes, tax and right gas race. and electricity and everything else that goes on top and of it. And ultimately your mental health and your relationships suffer because of it. Yeah, so you want to live in a van because of that. So when yeah. you first build a van, just like I did, when I first just bought do my it van, as cheap as possible. I was I was pretty broke. Yeah. I, and I could see my savings going down and down, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to move into my van permanently. So when I first built out my Sprinter, I wanted to save as much money as I could. So my batteries were literally from a breakers yard. Yeah, and they worked perfectly um, but fine. I didn't put that in a video because I was a bit embarrassed by it. I was embarrassed that I was so poor. Yeah, like I couldn't but maybe afford you should talk it about because it. everyone else is fitting lithium batteries and all paying thousands of pounds for their batteries. And they've got a Victron. And there's me with my that. batteries that cost 20 quid each. Yeah. And it weren't until I think Alpha Batteries offered me a couple of batteries for free to make a video. And that was when you were here, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That I put those batteries in, the yeah. AGM batteries. So it's literally only But had even them. then, one. Not even a year you've had them. Not quite finished. Yeah, it's not. Even nice, is then, it? it's even not then, nice. right? So <laughs> I put two 
what I thought are oh, these fantastic AGM batteries in my van, and I got less out of them than I did my two old breakage yard batteries. So I had to go and buy another, another two battery, AGM yeah. batteries. So now yes. I've got four AGM batteries in my van. To make van, up for the two breakers yard ones. Doing exactly what yeah. the two batteries that I got from the breakage yard used to do. Yeah, you're right. Refresh the mesh. It's expensive, but it saves a lot of hassle. Yeah, if but you the point I'm trying to make is that when you first move into your van, if you are broke, like I was, then it's perfectly fine to go to the breakers yard, yeah. get two old batteries and use in your van to begin with. But believe me, once you've lived in your van for at least for about a year or even two years, because you've saved so much money by living in your van and not paying rent to some greedy landlord, or in my case, greedy landlady, because you've saved so much money, then you can actually go and buy the Something. latest lithium yeah. LiPo 4 batteries and you can you upgrade have. your van as and when you can afford it. Yeah, the, and the it's not a stress. The key is to get in your van as soon as possible and get out of paying rent as soon as you possibly can. Because the sooner yeah. you stop paying rent and start putting that money in your pocket, the sooner you'd be able to afford to have those flash lithium batteries. Yeah. But you don't need them to begin with. No. And you don't want to get yourself into debt to do it either. That was the point I was trying to make. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> and I speak from experience. So, yeah, maybe And I really should, should make, make a video about it. You should that. make a video about it and, and poo-poo the idea that you've got to have everything flash because you haven't. You know, we all get stressed. I mean, I, you know, when we went to the Van Life Festival and we've met other people in vans, well, all got I kept comparing of myself. Pounds worth of, they spent thousands yeah. on their vans. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're amazing van builds and they obviously have the money to yeah. be able to do it. But we we found ourselves comparing our van and your van to it. It and, did kind of suck and the, it sucked joy the joy. Out of me. Yeah. yeah. But then I thought, no, you know what? A lot of these people have sold their houses to buy a van. Yeah, so they've got the capital. I to didn't do sell it. my house to buy a van. I divorced yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, and you're in a very different life circumstance. And you, yeah. that's the thing. Don't compare yourself to somebody else's journey or someone else's build because your life is yours. You, your journey is yours. You can't live someone else's life, and they can't live yours. So don't, <laughs> don't compare. Toasty van thing. build. I bought my DIY Lipo four batteries before I had the van because because I couldn't I afford, afford the van. The van. My van was only 1200 quid. Doesn't yeah, matter. Good then. on you, mate. Yeah, good, good for you. That's, I, that's the way to do it. I pay two and a half grand for my sprinter. Yeah. And people don't believe me when I tell them that. Yeah, and I think, say, well, watch the video. You can see me joking. bid on it online. Yeah. Because I brought it from a salvage yard, basically. Yeah. And I'm still paying the price now. <laughs> but in a different way. <laughs> but, but I that, brought it. You know, yeah. it was a starting point. Yeah. And you don't have to be put off by the fact that you haven't got the budget that other people haven't got. Just do it when you can. The most rewarding thing about being in the van is the life that it changes you. You know, you're, most people that we've spoken to who move into a van or have a van for a weekend, yeah. it's the happiness that they feel, the freedom, the great experiences they have, the travel, the friends. You know, when we get up in the morning and we get out of the van, we are surrounded by amazing people. You don't get that when you live in a house and when you live in a street. Mm. it's not it's not the same at all i mean yes you have to get down and intimate sometimes with people because you know you're busy doing your business in the van and then you open the door and like morning hello everybody yeah, it's all right toilet, and you're talk, talking in the, in the toilet bag, yeah. yeah but you just you get over that because everyone's in the same scenario you know it's the uh it's the walk of shame would be or... great if we could all afford a vw camper for 50 grand yeah yeah it? yeah i would love to have 50 grand i mean i don't think i've ever seen that I'll much money boat. <laughs> yeah so let's go back a bit because we were I busy talking 50 talk grand on a van I'd spend it on a boat <laughs> that's my ultimate goal in life is to have a boat so we'll get there <sighs> right I'm going to go back because there's quite a few comments here Krista says which do you reckon is the best power pack with solar panel there are so many and very expensive there's loads I would say it depends what you want to do on it Get one with LiPo 4 batteries. <laughs> um, Especially now the price has come down. Yeah. Look at the ports on all of the different power packs and see which ones suit what your needs are. You know, for instance, I've got the little Jackery 240 here, but 
if I was to go out and buy one, I probably wouldn't buy that. I'd probably go for a EcoFlow or a what was the other one? All Powers. Because, yeah, because All Powers sent me this tiny little battery pack, and I'll tell you what it is. Brilliant. It's brilliant because the fact is, is that you I mean, can use your tiny. phone to control it. The yeah, and it's got Bluetooth on it and yeah. everything. Yeah. So I like that because you could have it in a cupboard in your van and you could have things already plugged into it and then you just go on your phone and you turn it on rather than scrabbling around going, I'm just trying to find the button. Which is why I like the blue that I've just got yeah. because it's got... Because I have to crawl under the bed. Like if we watched um, telly or we used the, the socket in Mel's van, which is charged by the Jackery... <sighs> We which have to going, remember to climb under the bed at night when I'm tired and I'm struggled just to turn it off. And I can't reach the button. So do you know what I do? I get a torch, which has got a little hook on the end of it, and I crawl in the cupboard and I poke it with this like little curly bit yeah. because I can't actually fit in to and turn I'll it I'll off. I lay in bed and say, why do I love put kettle on? Yeah, and I, I don't like it. So I would say go <laughs> for one. If you're a woman, which you are, Go for one that's easy Such that you can chauvinist. control. Mel just keeps interrupting me. <sighs> and choose one that's got the right ports. Again, if you've got a, a new modern laptop and it's got a USB-C connection and you've got other oh. things with USB-C, a lot of these power packs don't have them. Jackery so, don't. Yeah, so Jackery don't do USB-C. So they it means... They've got USB-C. Sorry to interrupt you, dear, but they have got USB-C. They just don't have the 100 watt USB C, so you can't charge it. But you can't charge your laptop straight off. Yeah, it. so you need to look at your devices. What what is it you yeah. actually want to charge, and what are the ends looking like, and oh, then choose the power pack from point. that. Good point. I would yeah. say that. Yeah, well done, Becky. That's because a great idea. That this really annoys me. For instance, I've got that stupid wanky big plug, oh, and swear. it it really annoys me. And it doesn't have any USB C ports. Well, the thing is, with let me just lift this up, right? Because I need this to illustrate. With something like this, you have to now turn on the inverter that's yeah. built into the power pack. So the inverter actually uses power even if there's nothing plugged into it. Does it show you on here? Yeah, look, output. Yeah. So if, if we if we unplug this, right? And it so dies. It's drawing, <laughs> it's drawing 75 watts, yeah. So now, the, with it being unplugged, it's still drawing... 22. 22. Oh, 8 watts. There you go. So it's drawing 8 because watts, even one, though there's nothing on. plugged into it. Yeah. It's because the inverter is drawing those 8 watts. Now, if you have a power pack similar to this with USB port in it, you only have to turn on the DC side of things, and there's no inverter. So... It, it, doesn't it doesn't draw, draw any power yeah. unnecessarily. And it lasts a lot longer. It has what's called a voltage regulator rather than a inverter. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. they're regulated rather than inverterlated. Inverterlated. <laughs> inverterlated. I don't know. Basically, the point I'm trying to make is that if you plug this, if you could, well, you can't with this one because it hasn't got a USB-C 100 watt outlet. But if you were to plug, if Becky was to plug her laptop like into... Like straight, like if you just took that and just plugged that in. Into there, if she could. Once her laptop is finished charging, then you would no longer draw any power from the power pack. But because she's got it plugged into here and the inverter switched on, even though the laptop is finished charging, it still this will, will still draw yeah. power and, and flat on the battery and, pack. Yeah, and I'll find it flat in the morning. So if you're whenever. looking for a battery pack, I highly recommend getting one with USB-C, but make sure it's 100 watt. Yeah, because otherwise it still won't Long charge story short. Your, <laughs> your laptop. So, yeah, hope that helps. Yeah. Sorry, guys, it's a really long week. for that thing. reason, that's one reason you don't hear me talk about Jackery's anymore because yeah. of this. We've been well, finding... I don't put it on my video because I think Jackery might have a go at me. But that's why, well, I don't, also, that's why I don't promote Jackery anymore because they haven't got the 100 watt USB-C output on it. And there's so many different ways in which devices are bringing out ports, you know, so... It's forever changing, so companies are going to have to keep up with it. it ultimately, it's down to what devices you have and what you want to charge. Um, <clears throat> but the 240, in terms of the capacity of it, I love it. You know, it's great for running everything. You just can't obviously run a hairdryer or an induction hob from that. You'd have to go bigger. Yeah. But as they a start-off power pack, they're good. Power packs are good. They, they have got good. a place Yeah. in, like... They, they do serve a purpose with Absolutely, vans, yeah. camp, self-built um, camper vans. You know, even the Jackery, we're not knocking it 
Because like, they are a good backup they, they are as well. Good. But I would say if you want an all-in-one thing and you don't have to, you know, upgrade or change in the future, just really do your research about what ports you want. Yeah, what you want to so use. So that it's la- going to last you. There's so many to choose from. And the prices yeah. are all over the They're place. They're all over the place. So just and don't sometimes rush. they do deals as well. Yeah, Black Friday deals or like coming up to Christmas, it might be a good idea. Like Jeffrey had a Prime Day deal, Bluetti had just had a Prime Day deal. So if you're thinking about buying any of those, I would wait wait, wait for them to do a deal day. And then, because if they have like a Prime Day promotion on their website, they also sell them for the same price on Amazon. But then Amazon will actually give you a discount as well sometimes. So you can save even more money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd always say have a look on the website, see what they're selling them for on their websites, and then have a look on Amazon as well and compare the price. Yeah. Refresh the Mesh has got a good idea. He said, if it was me, Mel, I'd buy the Bluetti, yeah. buy a solar panel or two, and have a petrol generator if there are any issues to charge the Bluetti. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking of doing. Yeah. Because I'm yeah. going to take my... The only thing is the petrol generator people go a bit like... Yeah, yeah. Solar, you know protect the planet when so, we go to that yeah. rally we're going to go to a metal detecting rally at the end of the week end of the month end of the month yeah um i'm going to take my petrol generator yeah we're going to try it again i think because you live more minimally in a van it's on a farm so that matter. yeah like i wouldn't ever recommend you use a petrol generator when you're camping on a campsite <clears> or when you're at an event they won't let you. they're Most really annoying won't let you anyway. they won't let you no and i completely agree with that because <clears> i think that's really uh, not a good, not a good thing, and I think they have their uses in certain situations. But I also would say if you can get away with not using one, then that would be the better option. Mm, but have it as a backup. Brilliant. They are brilliant, yeah. But again, people are very funny when it comes to using things like that because of being eco-friendly and everything. So I think you just need to, yeah, I can't be careful how, how you can ever go at anyone that lives in a van. Anyone that says, oh, it's not eco-friendly. Yeah, but your, your footprint... You live in a van for crying out loud. Yeah, it's your footprint is much smaller. Give me a break. I don't live in a house. I'm not using gas all the time to heat my house or heat my water. Yeah, I'm not Everything. using tons of electricity with all my appliances on standby. No. Everything, your footprint is just a lot smaller. Yeah. So I think if, if you have so a generator, it works. I want to run a little petrol works. generator out the back now and again in the winter to charge my LiPo 4 batteries. I'm yeah. going to. yeah. Yeah, I don't have three cars sitting on the driveway. I don't fly off abroad twice a year in an aeroplane. <laughs> well, we haven't been travelling at all, have we? <laughs> Used to, we are. Used to, but not anymore. Oh, God, you keep messing Sorry, with the table. Cause... Are you fidgety? Yeah. Right, we're going to wrap this up in a minute anyway, because Mel's What's your plans for winter crazy. travels? Um, I would like to go to Scotland. Yeah, Scotland maybe. Yeah, but again, we've got to make sure that Mary's okay before we do that. But if we manage to do my van build in super quick time, we'll be taking mine. To Gibraltar. Oh, right, so we're not going to go to Scotland at all then? Yeah. Depends what part of the winter I'll be talking about. Oh, I don't know. Are we yeah. talking autumn or winter, winter? Well, winter, winter as in December, like Christmas week we'll probably go somewhere, but I will be working all through December. Well, so is probably more winter, isn't January, it? February, we'll we'll February be going more somewhere when it's cold. Yeah, uh, we've got a few ideas of where we want to go. I want to go to Scotland or Lake District. He wants to go to Gibraltar. Bit different. Yeah, we haven't really decided. As long as we go somewhere, I don't really care to be honest. I want to go to Gibraltar before Gibraltar comes becomes part of the Schengen area. Yeah, because that's happening soon. So maybe we'll do that. Well, they're first. talking. They're negotiating now. I don't know. If Gibraltar becomes part of Schengen, then... Wow, there's loads of things to catch up on. So that's me waffling on. I'm just going to go and get a drink. I need a drink. That's all right. Excuse We're gonna... me, I'm just going to get a drink. Are we going now? Well, I will be going in a minute. I don't want to bore you guys for too much longer. You've been amazing company. But um, you I don't know whether the two hours... Yes, please. You should so you'd like a drink yes. as well. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully I can answer some more questions with you out of the way and stop kicking the table. <laughs> yeah, um, Krista, you said, yes, that's what I want. Some company, you all seem like such a great crowd. Yeah, 
most people that we meet on the road are just absolutely lovely people. I mean, um, I'll show you a picture of the group of friends that we made when we were down in Newquay. They were such a lovely bunch and we actually are like really, really good friends now. And we're always in contact with each other, like checking up at how we are. Here we go. It's such a great, great group of guys. So we've got Lars from Lars Born in the corner. We've got Griff from Four Wheel Drive Eagle on Instagram. We've got Heidi and where's Julian? Julian's up at the back there from the Vast Way. There's me and Mel. And then there's Jake and Purdy from... Um, Jake and Purdy and they are on Instagram as well and yeah just we had such a blast with these guys and we've met so many many more people since then as well um so yeah you'll find your tribe you'll find your people that you click and connect with and you know they'll always be on hand so you know if you're having a bad day you could just message someone you know I'm not feeling great today anyone could just be there for me right now or I've broken down help how can I you know sort this out there will always be people around that you can turn to for help. I've got to go down to the van, get some more water. We've run out. Oh, okay. Yeah, we need some more water. We are basically filling up all of our water from the van when we're up in the garden here because our van tap is flipping amazing and we love it, don't we? Filled with water. Yeah. When we've come back to my parents and we've drunk the water here, it is incredible how much we taste Gosh. the chlorine. Um, and we didn't realise we'd love this tap so much. So we are going to be doing a video all about it because we, we think it's just a fantastic little tap. And they're actually launching at the end of the month, aren't they? Oh, yeah. But we'll talk about that another time. Yeah. We'll about the details. We, we don't know yet, but we're gonna, we'll are gonna we definitely tell you all about it because we just love it so much. What's all this comment saying? Um, I've got to go back. Oh, Andy said, what was the power pack you said we you used by the phone? Um, it's called All Powers. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, you can use it by Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yeah. And some of the Bluetti ones, the new ones, and All Powers, uh, not All Powers, EcoFlow, you can use um, Bluetooth with those as well. A lot well. of them you can, yeah. Yeah. not Jackery though. Not Jackery, but maybe they will be bringing out one, because, they, again, they're just going to have to keep up with the competition. Refresh the mess. I brought a generator. You advertise with the code. It's quiet and no smells when stored. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, good news. Yeah, well done. That, we really like I've, that little I've, generator. I'll tell we? you what, that little generator has come in really handy mm. for me. Mel used I've got it, it loads. I've got it now in my lockup and I've been using it for power tools and all sorts. Mm -hmm. And when but, you yeah. did your van, all the rest yeah. and stuff. Yeah, that's brilliant. I, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's in Kent now, my generator in my lockup. But it's super quiet compared to what we thought it would be. It's brilliant. Yeah, we, we and I was it, I was genuinely looking at buying. Well, yeah, you had one in your in your watch list, yeah. didn't you? I was genuinely genuinely looking at buying a petrol generator. Rebecca's dad even offered to sell me one of his old ones. Yeah, but, um, but that's really noisy stroke. in comparison. Yeah, yeah, but it was two stroke. I wanted a four stroke, so you don't have to mess about adding oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and. Yeah, I, I even had one in my on my. I had a couple actually on my watch list on eBay, and then Max Speeding Rod sent me an email saying, "Would you like to do a video review of this generator?" And he was like, "I was like, hell oh, yeah. yeah, love it." He's like his little baby. Yeah, it was really bizarre. It's like I put it out there in the universe, and yeah, and it yeah, came. And Max yeah. Speeding Rod's answered, yeah, by sending me a generator to do a video review. And it just turned out to be a really good generator. Yeah, it Genuinely, was. Genuinely. Yeah, yeah. It, was, it was really good. They do know what they're doing when they build mm. their, their kit. Toasty's van build said, he, I've had my van for two years now Sorry. and I've got a whole new group of friends. It's the best thing I've ever done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, it's so true. So true. It's because you've got a common interest as well. Yeah. I found that when I used to play guitar a lot and go around different pubs and things, my social life just trebled overnight well over over a year like going out meeting new people because you've got something you're doing with a common interest mm, and yet yeah. you'll find that when you move into a van and you start traveling around in your van you'll start talking to people and people genuinely are interested in in like as soon as you say yeah i live in this van full time they're like really wow oh, that's mm. so cool yeah because you're I've living i've never had anyone say anything negative no because you're doing something, it's scary, you know, and it's, it's a complete life change. But a lot of people 
say comments or they you think, oh, I'd love to do that one day, but they're too scared to break out of the mold and do it. And I think they, they admire the people that have done that. I mean, yes, it takes commitment and courage, but yeah, what, I, what's I, I to did lose? it over a period yeah. of time, really. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, think... think about it. Like, if you're really worried about living in a van full time, just think about this one thing. A lot of people live in these big houses and they have mobile homes on their driveway they hardly ever use, but they choose to go in their tiny little mobile home to go on holiday. They go on holiday for two weeks in their mobile home. And I can guarantee they all wish they could do that two weeks longer. for longer. Yeah. But they don't. They they choose to live in a house and have their mobile home on the driveway. But tif- people have different things that they want from their life. You know, some people want comfort. They want the, the, the cushy life. You have to learn to be okay with discomfort in a van. You know, you go without the luxuries. For instance, Mel was commenting, uh, replying to a comment the other day about him being in a tub of water. I mean, that's the first time he's had a bath in two years. <laughs> Because you don't have access to a bath it's very often. Really a bath, though, was it? It was no, but you know, like, for yeah. So it wasn't even Someone a proper said I was bath. Wasting water. Yeah, but it wasn't even a proper bath. So what I'm saying drought. is, is that you know, you have to go without certain things, but the benefits far outweigh the things that you lose, in my opinion. You don't have to go without anything. No, not really. No, not really. It's just a different way of thinking about it. And it depends when the you know rubber hits the road, <laughs> whether or not you just want to jump and give it a go or not. And and you know, I just think that there's no regret. You know, give it a go. If it doesn't work, you can think again, or just try it for a bit. Hey, what's this? Sorry, toasty van build. Really difficult stage bought with a camper. Our mate's just done a parking attendant, attendant course there. there. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I actually know a really nice place to park in Gibraltar. I've got a sweet little spot there. That's why I want to go down there. I've spent a lot of time in Gibraltar, and I know exactly where I'm going to park my van when I go down there. (laughs) What's your mate's name? Yeah. Krista, by the way, if you're asking about different ports, again, I can do a video if you want to know about the different ports, USB-C, USB, all of that. I can can do a little short on, um, on my TikTok or on Instagram for you. Okay, let's just go back. The, the chat keeps jumping. <laughs> Gibraltar is a nightmare for parking. It is an absolute nightmare, and they do tow your car. If you park illegally in Gibraltar, they will yeah, tow they will your go. car. Yeah. Krista, she likes watching us metal detecting, thinking of having a go. Yeah, if you want to have a go at metal detecting, again, do it. Our friend Chris from Hades Detecting has just done a review on a budget metal detector. Well. Um, send you that. We'll put, I'll put it down in the description box and you can come back and check it later. He's called Hades Detecting on Instagram. So yeah, anyone thinking about doing metal detecting, again, it goes great with van life because you can literally go out for the weekend or for the day, rock up where you go, go metal detecting. We always find change on the beach, so we've got enough for coffee or parking. parking. <laughs> and it's a great event. It's a great thing to do together or alone. People always, again, ask you questions about it. You have something to talk about. You can go to metal detecting rallies, which is what we're doing at the end of the month. Again, another great group of people that you can get connecting with. Hi, bearded bro. Scotland is too cold for the winter. Yeah, I I don't know whether I'd brave Scotland in the winter, but most of the time, Scotland is beautiful. Kev Jones says, looking forward to the field of it. Yeah, we will definitely be doing it soon because... We we love it so much, and I'm definitely going to be um, buying one for for my van. What's that? The filter tap. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. They it, might send you one, might they? Don't know. We'll we'll see. <clears throat> um, but yeah, Better. we really really love it. And the thing we we love about it is because it's in the little kitchen unit that um, has got a little bit of a splashback, and it's got a flexible. Um, neck hasn't it so we use oh, it for, yeah we use it oh, for yeah, washing up and everything. we actually turn it over the other side and the, the last time we've been away we've used it for a shower brilliant it's not hot but it's it's wonderful nonetheless krista you you're concerned about traveling as you have a disability and take lots of medication again maybe have a little card 
that you keep in your you dashboard or something. No, I don't. But mm. no, like write it down so that somebody else is aware. So that yeah, if make you other need... people aware. Yeah, that's yeah. good advice. Um, so yeah. write write it down what you're on and what your disability is, and have it on a card on your dashboard or in the the trunk of the the van somewhere, so that they can tell what you're on. Um, loads of people have recommended that that um other people do this um my dad actually does it for his um medical stuff and he has a card in his wallet that says i have this la, 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 and i'm on this amount of medication just have it as peace of mind again so if if you're able to or you have it somewhere where it's visible somebody else nearby can see it or you know if you're in distress they can read it and it's a quick way of um, recalling to somebody else what you've got going on and again let somebody else know where you are what you're doing there are, there are ways of doing it. it. It takes the fear out of traveling alone. It really does. And there are there are ways of doing it. Also, with um, Julian's app coming out, the Nomaki app, again, if you don't know about it, go and watch Mel's video about it. You can sign up to that, and that is all part of a van life and networking group, and it's a safe space where people can post their locations and ask advice, and other people can know where you are. Um, that you choose so yeah look out for that as well because it's a great way of staying connected and feeling safe when you're traveling reverse osmosis water filter is that what you're asking what the filter tap is i don't know uh, mel knows all the details again we're going to be doing a video all about it and we'll no it's details. not an osmosis it's not reverse os osmosis it's not one of them it's not one of them okay. <laughs> it's a ceramic filter oh that's it yeah it's um it's a, a tubular, ceramic filter. Yeah, that fits under the, the, the sink. That, that filters water, I don't know, ridiculously million microns, whatever it is. It, it's a really good filter. Mm. Yeah. They fit them in tanks, apparently. They use them in tanks so that soldiers can um, drink Urinate. their own urine. Yeah. That's a and good it's day that, that is, Yeah, that's what originally it was made for but they're breaking into the van life scene and we're the first ones to um to test it out and so far we've well they weren't designed it. for vans they were designed for homes but yeah they realized that they could actually be used for mm -hmm. in vans mm -hmm. as well and it's super simple to fit it's really small system love it and also i'm really i'm always concerned about like drinking water and being as healthy as possible and you just honestly you don't want to know what's in normal tap drinking water it's it's really bad for you really bad for you toasty's van build the most worrying thing about going full-time is suddenly realizing that you have no base that's what i'm terrified of when my parents go again i i, I think i've changed a lot about that recently because i've made such good connections with people you can always go and stay with them you know if if you know not everyone that you know is going to be just solely in a van there is always going to be people that have a base or have a home so you know again broach the subject with them you know if i need to come and stay in in bricks and mortar with you is this possible or can i park up on your driveway you know it's it's not always a one dead end road once you're in a van you can never go back or you can never change the plans think a bit more fluidly and and you know if things happen for the right reasons you know it might just be that something plops into your lap exactly when you need it so i wouldn't let that fear stop you from what you're doing because it may never happen but i do understand that yeah when parents pass on or people that are friends and family that you have relied on aren't there anymore you have to come up with a different plan and so it's sensible to plan ahead, um, but don't get too caught up in worrying about what if. Worry about it when it happens. And again, just just trust and put it out there that you'll have the answer or you'll you'll have some support when you need it. Even yellow urine, yeah, yellow urine. <laughs> Somebody else having a go at me for saying brought or bought. Uh, well, they're just going to have to get used to it. You say brought Bloody and Bloody cockney. Well, you are a cockney and you're proud of it. So there I'm you go. a cockney, but... My mate's name is Camper Van Handyman on YouTube. Oh, okay. 
But oh, apparently, if you're foreign in Gibraltar, they won't chase you for the fine. That's interesting. Well, I'll tell you what. Um, I can't mention any names. I shouldn't mention any names. Okay, well, don't then. No, no, I won't. I've, I've got a few friends in Gibraltar in higher places. Um, they work in customs and the police. Oh, well, there you go then. Yeah, <laughs> and I can guarantee you they, they probably will chase you for the fine if you're English. Oh, if you're English. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't drink Mel's pee. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Kev Jones. Are you saying you're drinking Mel's pee? No, mind you, though, if their filter is that good, who knows? <laughs> you're welcome to try it, love. Uh, oh, way, can you get rid of this, one please? Way door. We've got spamming happening now. When I go away in my van and we stop in a Premier Inn if we want for a couple of days. Yeah, exactly. Oh, Again, if you're... Oh, okay. Hang on, let me if try. you're ill, you also do it there. If you're ill, um, you can book yourself Gosh, into a hotel no, or a, okay. um, you know, there, there's ways around doing stuff. You know, um, Scouses in a van, they've booked themselves into a hotel because they both had like really bad stomach bugs, I think. Um, back what was in the June. question? Sorry. They book themselves into a hotel if they want a break from being in the van. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah there's, no there's, shame there's, in there's, that. There's nothing wrong with that. Again, that's again brilliant idea because I would like to have a bath sometime, and I keep luxury like dreaming about you know booking a hotel and uh, yeah having this massive big bath with a nice sea view and a big double four poster bed or whatever. One day I'll get to do that because, uh, again, I love my bubble baths. Haven't had a bath in probably longer than now because, again, because of my mum's disability and my parents, we we haven't had a bath. They haven't had a bath in, in the house 10 plus years, I think. You'll laugh at me, but my brother, when he used to live live at home with me when we were here, he has a miniature bath, like a big plastic bath that's like three quarter size that you literally have to scrunch yourself in. It's like a dunking pool. And we used to fill that with the shower head and sit in that for a bit, but it's a pain in the ass to try and empty at the end. Cause you just have to like pump it out again. So that was, that's my bath. And it, I don't even have that anymore. So baths are the one thing that I really do miss with being in a van. I'm sorry, but it's true. I always wondered about the water sports thing. <laughs> oh, God. I lay down the bath and let my girlfriend give me a long shower. Oh, my God. Really? I wouldn't want to ever do that. What's that? Golden shower. Do you nah, know what a golden shower is? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah. It, no. Not my bag not my at bag. all. No, not my bag, baby. <laughs> you can charge your batteries and have a comfort poo, yeah. Nothing better. Right, I think we're going to wrap this up, actually, guys. Mel's busy commenting and um, checking on his universe. It's been lovely to spend the evening with you. It actually is finally getting cooler because the sun is going in and we're going to have a beautiful sunset, I think, tonight. Do you guys sit and watch the sunset with a nice drink or do you prefer just to get cosy and, uh, well, not necessarily cosy, cool? You can charge your batteries too and have a comfort poo. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I weren't listening to what you were talking about. Now I'm wondering. That's all right. You can... I was, I was talking about water sports. What Something I said. Toasted van bill. Something I said. Yeah. About the golden shower. Oh. <laughs> Anyway, thank Lovely you. I'm in the tone again. Yeah, I know. You're going to say bye? Oh, bye. He's not concentrating at all. Sorry, I'll um, do apologise. Shall I somebody even invite him a, next week? Somebody asked me a technical question and I wasn't replying to it. I, I know, being but we're doing this right now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's all right. You're very welcome. It's been really nice to hang out with you guys and uh, let us know again. Do you want us to continue doing this on a Friday? Do you want him involved or do you want to just see me? Because I don't know whether you do know with the tune or not. But he's the celebrity after all, isn't he? You, He's the one that you want to speak to. 
Take care, everyone. Enjoy the rest of yes, your week. Both. See both. Oh, they both. want to see both okay, of you. They... <laughs> and yeah, good luck, Krista, with your van life and you know jumping into van life. And who was it else? Somebody else was doing a van build. Anfield, you were doing a van build, weren't you? All three of you, yeah. Monty's still snoring. He's down snoring the floor. Head off. Yeah, he's finally cool. But yeah, we'll see you next week. If you guys still want to see us on a Friday night, let us know um, in the comment section if you enjoy the, the lives because we'll keep doing them if you want. And uh, don't forget to <laughs> give it a <laughs> like. <laughs> I want to get some Kenny Everett thumbs up. Yeah, and um, we'll be trying to bring out some more fun and entertaining content for you, whether or not YouTube likes it or not. Yeah. I don't know. But, I don't care um, about the I've given up on the algorithm. Yeah, I care about the algorithm. We just want to enjoy like bringing you guys some fun videos. We want to enjoy doing them. And I don't think we'll ever be able to compete with the YouTube algorithm. So as long as we can pay the bills. It's all those flash YouTubers, fine. isn't it? All those flash youngsters out there with their flash B-roll and their flash drones. I know, but we don't want to be like everybody else. You know, we want to be individual. All I want is some foam thumbs going, give us thumbs up. <laughs> and you guys want uh, Troll of the Week. So, you know, happy yeah. days. Anyway, we will finally love you and leave you. See you next time. I'm going to Google foam hands. <laughs> and until next time, take care. Bye. Bye. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Woohoo. Bye. Foam